All right. Uh, the 10 millimeters came, so I got them hooked up. Uh, we've got an RPS, the original RPS on the bottom. It's got the two uh, uh, primary inductances, negative common spark gap. Uh, second RPS on the top, negative is on this side, uh, positive is over here with the spark gap, both have an inductance. Um, the secondaries from the bottom come up through and inside the middle of the uh, primary uh, coils on the second RPS. Uh, and I've already discovered that we have a problem here because it just wants to jump around the PVC and still hit the coil on both sides. Uh, but let's go ahead and power it up so you can hear the racket. And it's interesting that it doesn't draw too much more than what it was drawing before, which is uh, pretty close to what it was drawing before, so it's not actually all that off. Let's see if we can get this a little better illumined. So here's the input. You probably won't be able to hear me, so just input. So it seems like I'm also getting some arc feedback. Uh, I noticed some arcing here on these uh, positive terminals off of that head, which you know I hadn't seen before. So I'm getting the gain is what I think is going on. Uh, and the gain is when the two separate RPS systems are discharging between each other here. So this is the common negative on the bottom discharging to the common positive on top. Yeah, it's the common uh, positive on the bottom discharging to the common negative on the top over there. Uh, and in both of those situations, they're trying to add, add energy between the two systems. Um, when it's from the positive side on the bottom to the negative on the top, or sorry, the negative side on the bottom to the positive on the top, the gain is going from this top coil to the negative down here because it tries to go to lesser, to return to a zero potential. Um, and in the back, uh, it is then the positive on the bottom, which is trying to discharge through to the negative on the top. Uh, and it's trying to go to its lesser potential. So, um, that's where the two are electrically interacting right now, is on these two coils here between the secondaries on the inside and then the primaries on the outside of the second RPS. So, uh, what I probably am going to have to do probably going to have to remove the leads that are uh, going up into the top coil there to separate them. That way I control where this interaction happens instead of it just discharging between the two sides. And then the ideal will be, will be to take from the lower potential on the common positive and the lower potential on the common negative draw those two out to make the load and see what kind of an actual charge we end up with and if that exceeds the relative input over here right that was showing 120 volts at about uh, 1.2 1.5 amps max it's like 1.1.25 amps so I'm gonna just show you again
I'm going to have to find some way to discharge that potential. I don't know if you could see it, but right between the electrode there and the rest of the metal here, it was getting little arcs on the transformers. Um, so that's, I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, I think we'll initially just try and separate the two so we're not getting the catastrophic discharges like that. That'll probably solve that problem. Anyway, first run looks to be successful, and it's running, uh, I don't know if you noticed, on the electrodes over here, on the uh, meters over here. Uh, it's between 25 and 30,000 volts on the second RPS, and the first one's still at uh, 30 to 40,000 volts. Um, anyway, that's where it is. It's all through the same common variac.